Brendan McKeon and it's a beautiful day here in Costa Rica and we wanted to bring you along to show you the process um, of dropping our bananas off and uh, the bananas for us is uh, really one of our our big all-stars on the farm we planted the bananas for a variety of reasons in our agroforestry food forest systems and um, they have so many benefits for us as a farm as a tropical farm um, one of the things that we're able to do is produce a very fast food source. So, banana, you know, a lot of fruit trees will take us uh, three years to start fruiting and really five years to get into really good production. Whereas within one year, our banana um, harvest is huge, you know. So, we're already harvesting somewhere in the range of about 5,000 pounds a month, and that's after about a year and a half after planting. Um, and we do a variety of things with the bananas. You've seen some of our other videos, but you know we feed a lot of our animals on the farm with bananas. Um, we do a lot with the bananas. We make vinegar out of the bananas. Um, we're starting to learn how to make flour out of the bananas. And um, obviously we, we eat the heck out of them. Um, one of the other things that's been a really big bonus for us as a permaculture farm is that we're able to export them and sell them organically. Now. Being a small scale permaculture farm, it's really important to develop a variety of different businesses that you can make money on. You know, being a farmer, you're generally not going to get rich, but if we can sustain our farm and we can, you know, um, give, a, give a, a livelihood to local workers and we can make some money on the farm, we're doing really, we're doing really, really good and we're really happy with that. Bananas is one of the things that really helps us with that. Um, we bring our we, we belong to a cooperative and so we're about 30 different farms that belong to the same cooperative and um, so the whole cooperative grows bananas on their farms we bring them together and then because we have so much more bulk we have more selling power and so we work with a local company um, we, we work with a couple local companies Herber um, or Gerber as it's called in the US um, we sell bananas to them and then we also sell bananas to another local company um, that exports it for puree for baby food and so every two weeks we load up we harvest our bananas we load them up we bring them to this drop-off point along with all of our other cooperative members and um, we load them up into a huge truck they get taken off and then from there they process them into puree and then they export them to the US Canada um, different parts of the world so come take a look with us and we'll show you kind of how that works pretty simple process so we just walked up here to see what was going on we saw that some of the trucks were backed up waiting uh, to unload the bananas and um, looks like we have an issue with our the scale we have a big electronic scale that we use to weigh all the sacks of bananas out and uh, looks like there's a technical problem going on um, but I, it's just it was really cool I wanted to show you because it's such a good example of how resilient and capable Costa Ricans are it's like you know they got the tools out they're checking the the electricity they're they're gonna figure it out you know and um, it's just one of the things that comes with living out in the Costa Rica Campo um, we can't just run down to the store and you know buy a new scale it's like this is the scale it's probably been around for 20 years and we're gonna figure out how to what's wrong with it and how to get it to work and uh, just another great example of, of uh, Costa Rican life. Um, let's go see what's going on over there. So it's a real straightforward process. We just pull our trucks up, unload the sacks of bananas, stick them on the scale, we get our weights, we write everybody's weights down, and then we got a real nice system of how we load them here into this bigger truck. The truck pulls up right to this edge. We have a little ramp that we hook on to help the banana slide down into the truck. We pour the sacks of bananas in and away he goes. Um, real straightforward, you know, it doesn't take much uh, labor or effort on anybody's part. And we're, we're usually in and out of here with all 30 farmers in about one hour. So it's a real efficient process. Um, this guy will drive them off to the bigger company where they'll unload and start processing the bananas. Thanks for coming with us today on our banana delivery. Please help us to continue to spread permaculture across the world. Like, subscribe, and share our channel, and we'll see you again soon.
Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us today.